we haven't actually arranged anything to do in Ellie Beach. We were going to get uh, hire a little boat and go um, just around the the coast and maybe take a dip in the water. And so uh, we weren't able to get internet access on the ship. Uh, so we'll get off and we'll see what's going on, see what we fancy doing, uh, see what there is to do. Oh, look, it shows you where you are. This is where you are at the moment, and this will tell you exactly where you can go. It's about 10 minutes from here to here. Beautiful. Thank you, Patsy. Have a great day. Okay, so we can walk or we can catch the bus. It's five dollars for the uh, the so Straight across, big white coaches for the shuttle into town. If you want to walk, you need to follow the path round to your left. About fifteen minutes uh, to walk into town. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Should we walk? We'll have a walk there and see what's. Uh, Let's just go and have a look at the map first and just have a look because I don't know what's on that map. How clever is this? So they've given us a map. It's in the shape of a heart, but it's quite thick. So it's also <laughs> a fan. Yes, because it is fairly it is fairly humid here today, isn't it? Isn't that a lovely idea? Um, and so the, the, you just won't get lost because there's so many ambassadors there to tell you in the hand of the map and give you all the details about, um, this is about a 15 minute walk here comes round and then there's a the main street with the shops restaurants bars and today the markets are on so yeah there's plenty to do without actually booking anything and on the way on the boardwalk is the lagoon so you can walk through and go to the lagoon okay so Ellie Beach town centre and lagoon off to the right as is the marina so we're actually heading now along the, the path. We've got the Whit Sunday Sailing Club and then we've got the Early Beach Markets. These are pretty ingenious. Some of the these from. Where do you hire these from, guys? Um, well, they hired or are they yeah, yours? Yeah, yeah. See um, how you see um, um, stay, say no. Well, the big really banner? Oh, yeah, yes. The big banner. Yes, yes. Big just banner. there. Oh, oh right, okay. okay. We might yeah. just hop on. These are great. These they, are they look pretty good. How much do they cost? 50 bucks for three hours. Wow. Oh, okay. And yeah. I hardly used any battery and we've been all the way to the other end. Like it's still got um, four You get 40 k's out of a battery. Wow, that's fantastic. Let's yeah. go. Right, let's go and have a look. Yeah. It's yeah. a great way to look at because we went right up there and now we're headed way around here. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, we'll go and have a look. You're not, you like, like, a half half day. Day. You're not like three yeah. hours, are you? Yeah, no, three hours is fine for us. Though. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. So the people we've just met have told us where we can get those little hire bikes on. So come and have a look. It looks like it looks like we are now on Ellie Beach Main Street or one of the main streets in Ellie Beach. I don't know. The market's just behind us. The market are. The lagoon is just down this way. Okay. This yes, way. definitely go and have a look at the lagoon. And this is the Whit Sunday Fun, which is what we intend to have. Well, we'll have a look. Hire, explore, <laughs> discover. Okay, so we're, we're here with Jordan and we are renting some scooters. So he's just going to give us a run through as to how to, uh, how to operate the scooters and then we'll go off down the, uh, down the, the seafront. Uh, yep, yeah. off we go. I will, I will give this to you. We have got this lovely head attire on because we have hired scooters. Yep, Jordan's giving us a run through. We know what we're doing now. All good. Yes. Excellent. Cheers, Jordan. So you can have eco mode normal and super speedy or something mode. light speed so the middle one warp the, speed yeah the eco was very very slow would hardly get up the hill the middle one woo, that's really that's really good but there's this boardwalk that goes all the way around we hide them for two hours because you can go quite a way right around the coast <laughs> there were none of the chariots left, so we hired the e-scooters, which were the same price as the chariots. Got them from Whit Sunday Fun, which is on the main street. The ones we got were the Maserati version. They go up to 20 kilometers an hour and have a range of 65 kilometers. So you've got a really good scope of where you can go on these. We hired them for two hours, but the three hours was $50, I think. You can hire these online so you can pre-arrange it before you go. We'll put a link to Whit Sunday Fun in the comments below. Check out their website. 
I'm having the time of my life on these. This is just so much fun. It is. Um, We've just stopped getting a coffee, <laughs> but um, or a nice drink. But I don't think I can ride in one of these. I'm not confident enough no. to do this one-handed. No. So this right. is the old um, jetty where the tender boats used to come in when I came here last time. The scooters are great fun. We are absolutely loving these. So we've just come across um, Whitsunday Stand Up Paddle and Kayak. Hire and rentals from $25. That's good, isn't it? And look, it's so oh, very beautiful peaceful. and peaceful. If you do stand up paddle boarding, this would be the place to come. I, yeah, I don't think we'll have time today to, uh, to get the scooters back and then come back up here but um, definitely of note. So you follow the walk walkway round to the right from where the, uh, the tender boat drops you off. And, um, and this is where you find stand-up paddle boarding. It looks so easy. I know, I don't look, this is one of our usual signs here, hazardous marine stingers, danger. <laughs> we always come across danger. We accidentally took the scooters into a private property. We were back where we're supposed to be now on the boardwalk, but look at this water. And this view, this is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful colored water. And boats. So it's de it is definitely worth hiring either the um, electric bikes, bikes, the Those scooters. chariots look fun. The chariots look fantastic. They didn't so, have any, they didn't have any um, left for us. If you're they? a little bit fearful of falling off, like our, our daughter fell off one of these scooters and doesn't like riding them anymore, the electric scooters, but she would definitely get on one of those uh, chariots, the three wheelers, because there's no chance of falling off. Every corner we came around, there was another bay, another beautiful bay to see. And they're all quite different. Some of them have got the yachts on here. We've just got this beautiful sandy beach. Yeah, this, this actually is... said this, there's turtles on this beach. Oh, okay. This yeah. is, well, this is the end of the walkway and the beach carries on. So if you want to do your care on the beach. So this is Ellie Beach Lagoon. It's a beautiful man-made swimming area. It's not too deep. It's great. It's really safe for the kids. Um, and it looks like it might be a little bit deeper over there to play ball games in. A little bit of sand over there. It's very similar to Brisbane South Bank Beach on a smaller scale. Um, but what a beautiful, it's and it's got, it's got the I was just gonna say it's got the sails over as well. So that it yeah. uh, keeps the shade over, which is something that I don't think we've got at South Bank, is no, it? No, I don't think there's any, anything no, like that. No shade at South Bank. Uh, there's some barbecues and tables and a playground. Fantastic little family area for uh, a weekend. Or just to, just to cool down. I wouldn't yeah. mind getting in there myself, to be honest with you. I know. Well, I, I did actually put my costume on. I, did too. I am already. I did too. I put the towels in. Um, when I was here last, um, I wasn't on a cruise, but I stayed here. And we used to go and get, there's a beautiful fish and chip shop on the front, get the fish and chips and come and sit around the lagoon. Mm. And that was, yeah, that was a real treat. Yeah. It was lovely. Looks like there's a lifeguard, uh, although not a, maybe not on duty at the moment, but um, there's certainly a lifeguard seat there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. This is the lagoon from the other side. This is a beautiful area, gorgeous little family area. We have had a very happy look around Early Beach, but apparently the happiest way to see Early Beach is to get a local guided tour on a tuk-tuk. Um, these guys actually pedal you around. I've seen three people, three adults in the back of one of these tuk-tuks. And uh, it doesn't look to be any effort for these guys that are riding you around. And I've heard them and they do give you a guided tour and point out all the local landmarks. So that looks well worth a, a look. And this is actually by the local markets here. You can't miss it. I thought you were going to say that it doesn't look like any effort to take a tuk-tuk ride, which is true, because all you do is sit in the back of it. That's right. It, <laughs> just, it looks like a very leisurely way. But what I'm saying is I would feel sorry for somebody having to cycle us two round in the back after after eating all that cruise food, it, but uh, it doesn't look any effort for them at all. They're, they're electric, that's why. I can see the is motor it? on the back of them. Look. 
You can see the motor on the back of them. Right. There we go, they're electric cycles. Okay, so no embarrassment here then. <laughs> <laughs> Have your breakfast and you can still get hop in the back of one. Okay. Right, let's take these so, scooters back. Let's take the scooters back and have a look around the markets. Okay, we're back now. Thanks to Jordan and the guys at Wit Sunday Fun. We have had a ball. We'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. This is in Ellie Beach Main Street. A fair bit of traffic around. Uh, as you'd expect, a lot of information and, and tourist places as well. In Ellie Beach. Some units, a cotton on, some of your major stores. Those McDonald's are there. What a surprise. So, hi George. Nice holiday going. Yeah, it's a holiday going. <laughs> Good. Oh, he's got a um, <laughs> he's got a barcode scanner, right? So uh, yeah. for information. Get my expert advice. He's not in a very talkative mood today, is no. he, George? No, he's not. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, there's our ship. Wow, wow, wow. In fact, it's just got better as, as the day has gone on. It's now uh, just gone past midday and the water has just become uh, just turquoise. It's, it's picture perfect. Does that beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning just to sit here and look at this. Yeah, we could give the sea a little go if you fancy. I was just thinking that we might dip our toes. Yes, I might tell you tell you how warm or cool the water is, but oh, people aren't shying away from getting in. Yep. We're at Early Beach Market, and we've had a little quick look around, and it's pretty much the usual stuff that you will get: great big scarves, um, handmade jewellery. Some of it looks as though it's um could be off the internet and bought but a lot of it does look look handmade which is really nice some little souvenirs hats is always a favorite and um, there's somebody doing tie-dye and that guy he's actually doing the tie-dye himself because we can see him doing it in the buckets by the by the side of his tent and then um, we'll give you a little look around oh, no. Ellie Beach markets are on every Saturday from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. But since cruising has restarted and cruise ships are now returning to Ellie Beach, the local Lions Club has decided to set up stalls on the days the cruise ships are in town. So that means whenever you visit Ellie Beach on a cruise ship, there's a very good chance that you'll be able to look around the markets. This is a first then. We've come across um, gin, vodka and rum. And it, it's a craft distillery. This looks good. Do you think you're going to give her a little try? Ask the guys what they what they do. So we've got a classic dry gin. Um, we've only got little bottles of the tropical gin at the moment because it's so popular. We struggle with good supply. It's one. It's been shown twice and won awards twice. Okay. Fantastic. So what's the tropical? Is, is that it's got pineapple? Fresh, thing? light cheese, lime, mango, and banana, and a vapor stream. So this is Robert's now going to try the ginger gin. <laughs> this the ginger comes into the back of the palate. So you can have that with with ginger ale, did you say? Ginger, ginger beer. Ginger, ginger beer. beer. I wonder what that would taste like. Or on its own with um, a little bit of ginger beer. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I was, no, it's all right. Wasn't The, the, the danger is <laughs> we're drinking it's it with ginger beer. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm. And what about the? Actually, um, that's lovely. That, what that's about lovely. the gecko gold? How much? Um, how much are these? Seventy-five for the big ones and fifteen for the little ones in the gin. This is a shout out to our daughter Gabby who has taken up whittling of all things. She's 17 and she's bought all the equipment to do her whittling, including the wood. And look, Gabby, this is what we've come across. 
and this is to give you some inspiration. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? And then we've got a little Noah's Ark. We've got little piggies, little cats, all kinds of farm animals. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> this is a place I wouldn't mind having a look at. Bogan Apparel. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of Bogan in all of us. Oh, there we go. It's got the logo on everything. I know. Shopping at the local jewellery market. So she's picking up some pendants and I think some rings for the girls. Oh, that's nice, a nice big one. Uh huh. Should go for Maddie's. Oh, yeah? Get the same stone? Yeah, yeah, I've got one each for them with the okay. same stone on. Beautiful. How oh, lovely. <laughs> So Al managed to pick up some uh, some very nice little costume jewellery for the girls. It was uh, yeah, didn't well, cost a lot at all, did it? But it's, um, it's gemstones. Oh, yeah. um, so they they all have a meaning. So it's sort of serenity yeah. and harmony and peace and love. So we picked out a nice set for the girls who love their gemstones. Yeah. So I think they'll be pleased with those. Yeah, a little bit from the local markets at Ellie Beach. Yeah, supporting the local markets. That's true. Supporting local trade. On a beautiful warm day like this, here's exactly what you need to cool down. Some real fruit, ice cream and smoothies. So cool. it's made with low-fat yogurt. And a mango. And a mango. Oh, I love the mango. I'm going to get a dairy cream mango. Dairy cream. In a waffle. In a waffle, please. Uh, I got the mango ice cream and it is delicious, it's not too sweet. Um, and it's, it's really, really creamy, the ice cream. It's delicious. Robert's just tried some. And what's your verdict? Yeah. And Robert got the mango smoothie. I did. I ordered an ice cream and then changed my mind when somebody got a smoothie. So um, there it is. It looked absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, no, I want one of those instead. Mm. Actually. So fruity, full of fruit. Robert held the queue up because he, he was like, he did, he did. He was like a child, you know, when there's just too much choice. And he got to the front and then did his mouth open and went, um, <laughs> didn't know what to get. It had so many choices, but they were all delicious flavors like lime and passion fruit and coconut. And they're all real with no artificial flavors. So shout out to Relo. Um, if you come to Early Beach, that's definitely worth a stop. Yes. Especially on a hot day like this, this is very, very refreshing, very mm. welcome. So was that good? <laughs> <laughs> you Was got bad. very, Was very... bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left at all. Oh, no. <laughs> it's blowing away now. When we came out of the terminal coming off on the tender there were lots of lovely people handing out maps and telling us where which way to go and how to get the buses and what there was to see at early beach and I said to Robert oh everybody looks about retirement age what a fabulous job to earn a little bit of extra money for uh, retirees and um, all lovely and being pleasant with the tourist and Robert said they're not paid they're all volunteers and that it's here. So on this, on the lovely map that they gave us, it's the volunteer cruise ship ambassadors. So here's a huge thank you and a huge shout out to the volunteer cruise ship ambassadors. You do a fabulous job and great big welcoming smiles for everybody getting off the tender. Made us feel very welcome and um, very easy to get around the tourist area. We knew where everything was and you could ask them anything. So. Thanks for that, guys. So we're back now at the terminal to get the, uh, what's it called? Tender boat, tender boat back to the ship. We didn't see this, well, we did see the sign on the way in, but we just thought it was worth commenting on the way. Restaurants, bars, shopping, Wi-Fi, two minutes walk. 
That's a bit of a stretch. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, it's, it's nice a, and it's, flat. It's a lovely walk, but it's not two minutes. So if you've got prams, a bit of a, I don't know, tired legs or whatever, um, two minutes is a bit of a stretch, but it's nice and flat. So just take your time in this heat and you'll be okay. Yep. But um, yeah, probably more like 10 almost. Yeah, I think that's it. I think slow, the ambassador said 15 and I think they're probably yeah. closer to the mark. Yeah, just at a yeah. slow kind of holiday pace. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, well we're back to the back to the terminal as I said, so we'll back on the tender and back to the ship. Look at that. Whoa. Now that would be a track to us. That'd be an interesting way to add. I don't think you can see it from here, but um, that'd be an interesting way to take a trip around Ellie Beach.